so good morning to all of you um, uh, before starting the class let me wish you all of you a very happy new year and god bless you all and may this whole year be a peaceful and happy for all of us so let's start with today's class and today we are going to start with chapter 8 uh, whose title is internet tools okay so basically in this chapter we are going to discuss about all the facilities provided by internet and what features are there which can be used by uh, us like uh, blogging then different social networking sites are there like nowadays we are using different educational sites for study purpose and all so all those things will be discussed in detail in this chapter so let's start with this so the first thing uh, which is given in your book is blogs blog uh, here we will be uh, means going through three to four terms which are related to this like who are bloggers what is blogging and what is a blog if you will go for a proper definition uh, everywhere you will get this uh, first line that it is the short form of the web blog basically what happens we can create one account individual account where people can follow us and we can also follow other people according to our interest like if i am having interest in entertainment cricket accordingly i'll choose the people whom i'll follow and if after following them whatever their status update is there on the blogging sites uh i can comment on that i can react to that and they can also reply to me okay so uh, basically a blog is a small post by an individual through any blogging site and the process of writing this blog is known as blogging and the person who writes the blog is known as a blogger here uh, we will not treat this term as a message if something i am writing in whatsapp i am forwarding a message but here in case of blogs if you are writing something that will be treated as a post okay and uh, all the posts will be shown in reverse chronological order by now you all are knowing about ascending order descending order but one more thing is there where the things can be arranged in chronological order means the time date when they happened if i am talking about 1990 19 75 to 1990 then 1975 events will be listed first then 1976 and this way it will reach 1990 so this type of order where the events or the things are listed according to the time when they actually happen so that is known as chronological order in case of blogging sites the updates suppose i'm updating some my status today and the previous update is also there the today's update will be listed first that's why we are telling that it lists the post in reverse chronological order the recent post will be shown at topmost and then it will be followed by my previous posts and remember every message will be treated or known as a post in case of blogs okay so next is what are the different types of blogs see you can define or divide different categories of blogs according to the content you are posting okay if you are going to post only photos in a particular blog then that will be known as photo blogs like uh, people want to know about different places different locations they want to explore and you are moving from one place to another and you are going to post the pictures related to different locations areas to visit in that case that type of blog will be known as a photo blog same way if you are creating different types of videos like cookery shows are there eating shows nowadays very much popular on internet so those are known as v blog v logs or video blogs say then we have uh, music uh, blogs according to their like mp3 blogs are there mp4 blogs are there then some audio blogs are there which are also known as podcasts then some blogs related to education then those blogs are known as edu logs and simple one where only text type of status or datas are being posted are known as textual blogs and if some artistic pieces means drawings or some uh, piece of art is being shared that will become your art blog so according to the content of the blog different categories are defined next thing some of the examples of blogs we have a wordpress where where the url how you will open wordpress www.wordpress.com then we have one blogging 
site from Google also where you can use your Gmail ID to log in. I'll show you how it can be used. And it is Google Blogger. Then we have Tumblr. Tumblr is a kind of micro blogging uh, blogger site where small posts can be posted, which can include your images, GIFs, um, videos, small, small videos can also be taken. Then last one is Live Journal. These all are the examples of blogging sites. Next, we have what are microblogs? As I told, that if you're going to post small messages, these will be treated as uh, short messages will be termed as micro blogs. Let me read the whole paragraph for you. Micro blog, as the name suggests, is a shorter version of a blog. Shorter version means small posts will be there. It is a combination of blogging and instant messaging and allows users to create short messages to be posted and shared with an audience online. These small messages are sometimes called micro posts. Small posts in case of blogging sites will be known as micro posts and the examples we, we have Twitter and Tumblr. Okay, in these now the, uh, means there will be a limitation on the number of characters which you are going to blog. Like in case of Tumblr we have 280 characters. Tumblr and Twitter also about two. Earlier it was 140 characters. So in different new versions the number of characters are getting increased. Next we have Twitter which is a micro blogging site and here every post every message will be known as a tweet not as a we know that in blogging side messages are known as post but specifically for twitter it will be known as a tweet okay and here the limitation is 280 characters and this is the most popular social micro blogging site micro blogging remember this in mind that the sites or the blogging sites where short posts or small posts can be posted are known as micro blogging sites and if somebody asks you give some examples for that then it will be twitter and tumblr that kind of data which can be posted are videos article links article links means type of url can be posted and when user will click on that it, he or she will be forwarded to that particular article page then different photos some Sound clips but remember the size of these data should be small which can be posted through Twitter you know uh, this uh, this bird was named after uh, whom this bird yes uh, this bird, uh, the Twitter logo, yeah, this Twitter logo was named after Larry Joe Bird, who, who was an American basketball player, okay. So, next we have Tumblr. Tumblr, just see this icon. This is also uh, one of the microblogging platform. Here, basically, what is the difference that you will get uh, different types of themes through which you can customize your page. As we can customize our desktop, the same way in Tumblr, you will get predefined themes or personal images can also be used for changing the background of your blogging size. Okay, personal pages can be created, which is not possible in Twitter. Okay. Then uh, we have social networking sites and for this the acronym will be used throughout this chapter will be SNS and it stands for social networking site. I'll be telling you how to create the blogs. Let me complete this part then we'll come to that part also. Social networking sites are websites that allow individuals to not only create and share content but also to communicate with other users on the website. They help people to build social relations with other people who share similar personal or career interest. Okay, in Twitter, you are following someone. But here you can make a group of people who, with whom you can chat, you can share your interest. Uh, you, in fact, you can make group on, based on the interest also. A group of people are having a common interest. They can frame a social group. Okay, so here we can communicate with other users on the website. Some of the pop, we will categorize the social networking sites according to different areas. Okay, let's see some of the popular examples of SNS. These are Wikipedia, LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Picasa. And you know, each and every SNS site, SNS example is used for a particular purpose that we'll discuss later. So now let's start with different categories of SNS. According to different categories like blogging sites, we have eBlogger, WordPress, Tumblr, then reference sites where you can uh, search educational related things we have wikipedia and about us then for uh, 
for video sharing as we teachers are creating our videos and sharing you through YouTube. Okay, so video sharing SNS example is your YouTube. Then for photo sharing, most commonly nowadays used by you people is Instagram. Other than also we have Flickr, Picasa, SlideShare, Pinterest and of course Instagram. Then we have e-commerce sites where IRCTC, which is Indian Railway site, eBay, Amazon, Flipkart, Quicker, uh, OLX, all those are examples of e-commerce. You must be knowing about e-commerce. E-commerce means buying and selling things online. Then networking with friends where you can make a group, okay? And you can add people according to your uh, uh, means wish only. Nobody, uh, no one else can follow you directly. You can lock your profile. Many things are there in these uh, sites like Facebook is there, iBibo is there, Skype is there, Twitter is there. Okay, Twitter is also a blogging site also and it is also a networking site. Then we have forums where some research and all data are being done like Quora, CNET and TechSpot. So now let's start how to create a blog using uh, the blogging site provided from Google. Let's start with that. Yes, first you will open the browser. I have opened here Google Chrome. And then in the address bar, you will type www.blogger.com. See, I had already created a blog so that login page will not appear directly. It will open my uh, home page for blogging.com, this blogger.com. So one by one, all the steps I'll explain. You know, after this, when you will open the uh, on page number 96, one um, screen is given, publish your passions your way. There it is. Uh, then option is there. Uh, create your blog you will click on that once you will click on that it will ask for your gmail id and password you will uh, enter that and then you will get the options for creating your blog you will give the proper name for your blogging site by which which name it will be posted then name of the channel as i had given here cooking blog same way you can give once all these things are done you will see the screen after coming to this area you will click on new post okay you will click on new post once you will click here you will see that a uh, editor page will appear with all the options for editing like here if i want to write a uh, title of this um, hello i'm giving hello message to or class 7 and then I'm writing a message for all of you hello class 7 happy new year to all of you so this way after this you can edit it like I want this part with some other color bold italics whatever formatting you want to provide then change its color I want it to be red then uh, same way this part can also be changed color and all just change its color I want it to be yellow then um, all these options are there like I want some special symbols here you can insert smiley emoticons are there suppose this one i want twice i want so number of times you want you can click on that and it will get inserted once your post is ready you can click on here one option is there preview click on preview it will show how it will appear to your followers on the blog yeah one thing you have you must notice that both the people who is following you should have an account on this only okay on blogger if his account is having on uh, twitter and he is trying to search you there he won't get you there since you are on blogger.com he has he or she has to create the account on this only so here january 6 2021 one message is there and uh, the message posted here if you are satisfied with this that the things is okay you just go to your post and here one publish button you will see it is hidden with my um, video here you can click on publish and it will be posted okay if you want to publish yeah confirm and it will get posted i'll show what is chronological order after this then again click on new post and create any other post like uh, now um, only um, first class of internet tools first class of internet tools Suppose I'm giving this message 
and then again hello message is being given so according to reverse chronological order this message will be posted means will be listed first and then the previous message will be shown that is your chronological order means this happened first okay so it will be listed first and the previous thing will be listed down but if uh, chronological is, order is there then the previous things are listed first so we are using that term reverse chronological order i hope you will understand once i'll show it to you make it bold then change its color now just preview it by clicking on this just see can you see first class of internet tools hello now you just go to that part and publish confirm can you see what i uh, had written it is coming first and the previous thing is coming there only okay so people can comment they can delete i can delete view whatever thing you want you can do it from here okay so this is how the uh, blogs are being created and you can publish the uh, publish your blog you can preview your blog so these things can be done easily from there next we have sns uh, importance and all so sns and education so nowadays social networking sites are also used for education purpose where like now uh, we were using diksha app so that is a type of mooc app massive open online course where any time you can open that app and you can uh, go through the topics which you want to learn like khan academy is also there so that is massive open online course where the acronym is m o o c s and it is being pronunciated as moocs okay and then sns for education is now termed as educational networking then there are some devoted uh, some uh, uh, social networking sites which are exclusively devoted for this educational purpose like google classroom is there classroom 2.0 is there global classroom is there next gurukul idotopia and delicious so these uh, nowadays social networking sites is not just limited to sharing videos chatting and all it is used in the field of education also and and it helps the students to exchange their ideas with teachers and teachers also reply to the queries of the students so these are the benefits of sns in the field of education next class will complete other topics so for today that much is sufficient thank you and have a nice day